What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Donesan 707 and today I'm going to show you some things that I've done to the car and uh, maybe an install I'm going to do today. But I installed uh, tents in my car and I went with uh, Dub IR. I'm telling you, these tents are really good, really nice. Uh, I didn't go for cosmetic. I wanted to protect also the interior. As you can see, I have the red interior and the sun here in california is very very bad for the seats because i have other cars and the seats are fading and everything so i want to protect this car because interior is one of my favorite features of the car and it looks really good um the ac um i don't work it as hard as i used to because it has like 70 percent heat heat rejection i'm gonna get more details on the description below and my installer did an awesome job i'm gonna put his link right here for his instagram it's chris and uh i'm telling you he did an awesome awesome job car is dirty so you're gonna see a lot of specs it's dirty but i'm telling you like right now it's the car is off i don't have the ac on it's probably like i don't know i'll put i'll put it i'll put the temperature right here and it doesn't feel that bad because I don't feel the heat as you can see the sun right here and I'm telling you it looks really good so I went with 35% see it from the outside as you can see so I went 35 all around 35% and then the front I did tint the front with 70% so that's it. It looks really good. It works well, and I'm very happy with it. But today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox my new dash cam. Here's the dash cam, so I just need something to open it with. And what should I open it with? Um, let's see, maybe this. Nah, I used that before. Let's use this. There it is, Rove Dashcam C1. Okay, this thing right here, the reason I got it is it's GPS, which I was very interested in getting. Also, it has a 2K resolution, but I'm gonna put it at 1080, um, 60 fr frames per second, which is awesome. Wi-Fi connection, so that means that I don't have to take it off my windshield to visualize the footage. So it's gonna work pretty good. All right, let's open this one up. I wish I had a knife. Stilts right here. This will be attached to the windshield. So there it is. Dash cam is pretty small, pretty good. Here we have the, the holder with some uh, 3M adhesive instructions. This is what I'm very, very interested. I'm going to show you a little uh, idea I have to install this in the car. If you have a Challenger. Um, not sure about the chargers because uh, I never checked the the armrest. See how it works, but it should be the same. There. Here's the cable, power connections, and this is pretty decent long, so looks great. And oh my God, it came with two. So guess what? That means that I could use two of my vehicles. So when I leave the Hellcat and I'm going on my daily, so I can take that with me. And it came with an SD card, micro. And it's a 32 gigabyte. So 
There it is. I'm keeping it here. I'm gonna lose it. And oh, check this out. It comes with a part tool. So let's get this installed. My old one. This is a Rexon. The Rexon uh, V1. Um, it works pretty good like I said earlier it works pretty good uh, the images are pretty nice to, to look at and the night view is pretty good um, here's some clips that I got with this one I'm gonna put them up right now Jesus! pretty good but I had to every time uh, something happened I, I saw something or I wanted to check uh, you know the footage of the SD card I had to take the whole thing off with me and that's one thing I didn't like that's why I was looking for a Wi-Fi connectivity which is this one the Rove C1 put it in there boom okay Finally, I see where I can connect the power code. It's right here. It should turn on. And there you go. That's the app, so I'm going to download it right now. There you go. Here's the app. Let's open it up. Just install the Wi Fi connection. Wi Fi connection and everything is on. I'm, I'm, I'll be able to see. How oh, is it gonna record? See here is like too high. So right here, but maybe I'm gonna connect it right here. What you think? Right there? I think it's perfect right there. To be able to remove the can the dash cam, you have to go you have to go to the right and pull back, so it's fine. If it was the other way around that you will be able to you know remove it so we're gonna put it on right here this right here and I'm gonna connect the right right there right there it's perfect See here, I can adjust the height. Looks really good. There we go. That should be it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this cable through here. I already did this with the Rexon one. It's very easy. All I gotta do is push it in like this, and it works pretty good. Power off. And you don't even need to use the tool pretty much. You don't have to use the tool pretty much for for my car. It's very easy. You can use your fingers. It works pretty good. Just massage it through here. Look at that. You can hide it really good. Look at that. Pretty awesome. Then I'm gonna go through here. And 
then I have the other cable, so I need to remove this one. This is the old uh, cable for the Rexon. So let's take it out. In here, parking monitor, you can set it low. Loop recording, I like mine at 10 minutes. And you can play with it, you can put your settings according to your preference. And that's the uh, reason why I got the Dashcam C1, the Rogue One. That's why I got the Rove C1. This is pretty good. I'm gonna probably use this for a rear camera. As I was having problems because I messed it up. I did an update that I was not supposed to, so I kind of corrupted. But it still works. But it's not it's not reliable right now. But I do recommend it if you don't play with it like I did. Okay, so this is how it looks when you're looking at your phone. So you can see speed right there. You can see your GPS. And also right here you can see the navigation and also your speedometer in time. So it looks pretty cool. Guys, so that was it. I hope you liked the, the dash cam uh, review and install. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.